To help residents understand what is at risk when it comes to Sutter County levees, in 2009, Sutter County launched the 1955 Flood Project, an effort to videotape and archive eyewitness accounts to the 1955 flood. The following video utilizes some of the new interviews and a series of radio interviews conducted in early 1956 by Dutch Klimp of KUBA. Through the voices of the eyewitnesses, we offer the following story of what can happen and what did happen in this case when a levee fails to hold back the river at flood stage. I got actually mad. I thought, mad what a water. mess to get into. <laughs> I mean, that I for one minute had turned my back on that river and let it push me like that. It, uh, it made me mad, and I think that's what saved me. I was just mad enough to get out of there and do something about it. On Christmas Eve 1955, at four minutes past midnight, a levee collapsed just south of Yuba City, and a wall of water a half mile wide and 21 feet high spilled into Sutter County. Spreading at high velocity in a 180-degree arc, the floodwaters of the Feather River inundated 90% of Yuba City and the farms and ranch houses in the unincorporated areas to the south and southwest. Almost 40,000 evacuated ahead of and sometimes through the roaring water. 600 were plucked off rooftops and trees and cars and telephone poles by helicopters. Hundreds more were rescued by boat. 38 people drowned. Sutter County just may have more levee miles per capita than any other community in the United States. There are 240 miles of levees to protect homes and farmland and businesses from the slow rise of flood threats presented by the Sacramento, Feather, Yuba, and Bear Rivers, and from the Sutter Bypass that cuts through the heart of the county. Owned by the state of California, these levees are the frontline defense system for the community. Built initially in the late 1800s with several additions and improvements over the decades, the levees in most wet seasons provide sufficient protection from rising rivers. But occasionally, as at Meridian in 1903 and 1940, as at Yuba City in 1907 and 1955, and in Meridian again in 1997, the levees have failed with disastrous results. Things be 